Hi, Caitlin. Hey, Chelsea. Can you talk today? Uh, slightly. Oh, goodness. It's <laughs> germ season here in northern Colorado, and it can, isn't even my fault or my kid's fault. You got this illness all on your own. Gosh, I can't blame Elise anymore. I know. Well, everybody, <laughs> we had, like, kind of a couple slow weeks, but now it's back to full-time coverage of team roping because yeah. there's a lot going on already. So... That's awesome. This weekend in World Series land, there was a Matthews land in cattle rope and an Andrews. I heard the guy that won the 13 cut off the tip of his thumb and tore up his pinky and then went back and still won the rope in after that happened. So that's awesome. That's Congrats. dedication. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> I guess we expect nothing less. And then that American Cowboy 10 got some players, so mm -hmm. that's good to keep seeing that rope and grow. And uh, when we talk to Denny for the score, he'll talk about how big that rope is actually going to be. The numbers are huge. It just as a quick promo for us later in the week, Denny Gentry, we are going to let that episode roll out on Wednesday, and it is exclusive. Um, Denny is often the man behind the curtain, not often the man that you hear us um, interview. We get to talk to him all the time about what's going on in the sport of team roping, but I don't think the ropers as a whole get to kind of hear his real perspective on things just as much as as they could as much as we do anyway it's a really candid interview it's it's important if you care about the direction of the sport of team roping both at the professional amateur junior rodeo level this is an interview that you won't want to miss so that is coming up it'll release at 10 a.m on wednesday so that for your holiday travel if you're getting on a flight wednesday to fly to see family you can stream it or download it before you get on the flight and so you can listen to it the whole flight. You can listen to it when you're driving. We're going to be driving across Wyoming. I'm sure my husband's going to want to listen to it. I'll have to hear my own voice, but it's fine. <laughs> so don't miss this episode of The Score. The long version of The Score will be Wednesday at 10 a.m. It's going to stream. So stand by for that. Okay, to the pros. <laughs> we were watching the WCRA all weekend, huh, Caitlin? Mm -hmm. Um, and it was on, we were watching it on Ride Pass. I don't know if you guys were. If you had downloaded the Ride Pass app for this weekend, you would get to watch the action in Guthrie, and then you would also get to watch the World Series of Team Roping here coming up in a couple weeks. And the, you can download Ride Pass anytime, and you will get to see the World Series of Team Roping finale in Vegas at every rope in. And then you will also get to watch tons of events throughout the year. All Western sports are starting to kind of head towards the Ride Pass direction. So RidePass.com, don't forget to download that. The WCRA had a lot of elements going on to it. So we saw Eric Rogers and Clint Summers win the last chance jackpot, which they were already in. And so there were a lot of things that kind of went into making it. But through the rounds, when it all came down to it, they had a final performance with two pools on Sunday. And so they kind of crowned two champions, two different teams that won each pool. The top three in each pool, plus the top two fastest times not already qualified to advance, get to go to Chicago here in January. Clay Smith and Paul Leaves were the top team in pool one, followed by Josh Torres and Jonathan Torres and Dustin Oguskiza and Corey Koontz. In pool one, Clay and Paul, they won about 7,000. And here's what Clay had to say about the win. How was Guthrie? It was okay. I, I should have just went up there for Sunday. I was I got we got there Thursday and roped in the jackpot and then roped Friday and then stayed Saturday and roped Sunday. We was there for too long, but we should have <laughs> just went for Sunday. But other than that it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> you rode Marty. I did. And he was outstanding as always. Thank you. He he did pretty good. That's good. Did you win anything in the rounds? You won seven thousand in the last round. That was it. That we we was we was already seated to the final eight. I gotcha. And uh, I say to the final eight, it was sixteen. You know, with two mm -hmm. sets of eight, and so we was already seated for that deal. And so we just grew up there. Gotcha. What do you think of that format? It's pretty good to me. I, there was two winners. There, mm -hmm. there. I I would I would like to see it better where it comes head to head. There's one winner. And, you know, make the brackets pay a little bit less and then have one winner that pays a little bit more, which 7000 is great. I'm not sure. complaining about that at all. But it's kind of a little bit confusing to people watching, I think. Yeah, I think we to were a little bit winners, confused even. Yeah, you know I was going to ask you, if did the Cowboys know what was going on? Like, was everybody? I mean, I found out the day before, you know. Yeah. That's what, it's a little bit 
I mean, they understood, you know, that day, but more but now, like, I mean, it pays good, and that's great. I'm just tickled to death with what I won, but I mm-hmm. think it needs to be to where it comes to there needs to be one winner, you know. Yeah, I think, well, hopefully they get like those kinks American. ironed out. Yeah, because it was... I, I think they will. I, I think so, too. They had, and, you know, I saw... The, the office staff was a lot of the same people that work a lot of the big pro rodeos. So I think they're doing everything. I think they are. You know, they yeah. had, you know like John Waltney and Sandy and them, mm-hmm. you know, which they're really good at what they do. And uh, uh, the qualifier deal got them mixed up a little bit, you know, with all the teams qualifying and all this, you know, different scenario with the top eight entering the qualifier deal, you know, and then that kind of had them confused. And so – I think it'll be a little bit better probably come Chicago, you know, it'll be a little bit, all the stuff's kind of in stone already, so there's not so many different scenarios, but... Yeah, I think so, too. Um, Have you ever been to Chicago? It was cool. No, I've, you know, flown in, but no, I've never been to Chicago. It'll be a good roping, I think. I mean, it's supposed to pay 25 I think. Yeah, it'll be good. And you won their first rodeo, too, the WCRA at um, Helderado Days in Vegas, right? Me and yeah, we did. That was in the spring, I guess. Me and Paul did. Yeah. So that was that was a pretty good deal. So thus far, the WCRA has pretty been pretty decent to you, I guess. It's been really good. It's been really good, and that's what's that is what's good about uh, this deal is it might turn into something that you know for guys that don't want to go as much, you know, and mm-hmm. be able to ease around and pays good, and I think they've uh, they've got the right guys. That are running the thing, you know, like, you know, Bob Moat and kind of guys. I think that they're, you know, they understand that there needs to be deals like this to help guys when they want mm-hmm. as, as much. So it is a, I love it. I mean, it's been really good to me and Paul. So, I mean, it's, uh, it makes it nice that there's, you know, things like this for, you know, some side money that a guy can win. So. For sure. Do you guys have your NFR arena set up yet? Are you gonna set up an NFR arena? We, What's your plan? We put up a left. I put up a left fence uh, last week, and we we practiced a couple times in that. And then so we're gonna, you know, this week we're gonna practice a little bit, do Thanksgiving and stuff like that. But uh, I guess uh, a couple days before we went to Guthrie, we put up the left fence, and went at some a little bit. And is uh, the gray gonna get the nod in Vegas or the done or? No, I'm I'm I, I'm more than likely Marty's gonna be the one I ride, but I'm taking Ransom too. Marty <laughs> and Ransom will be out there. Very cool. And what I mean, why is Marty so good right there? I just I don't. He's a little bit snappier, maybe. I I don't know. He's he he's uh he's just a winner. He's done good for me. I can't ever look back and say he's cost me, you know, not in a long time anyway, so. Maybe like one of these days in the next decade, we're going to figure out a way to describe how Marty's so good because it always is that he's yeah. never cost you and <laughs> he's just so good everywhere. And one of these days. He, it's crazy how how easy he makes my job mm-hmm. uh, to where it don't feel like you're even that fast and you can be fast it's you know i've never had one like him but i've got one close i feel like ransom's done been doing really good for me and so mm-hmm. it's, it's gonna be nice to have them two out there okay. i've never had ransom out there before but I, i'm planning on not riding but i wasn't planning on riding marty last year out there and i did so mm-hmm. don't really ever know but it's nice to have two of them that you have some confidence in yeah, absolutely all right. Thanks, Clay. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great Thanksgiving. Oh. Okay, y'all too. See you too. Bye bye. All right. Lane Ivy and Buddy Hawkins, they won section two. They won pool two. They won 7,000. Garrett Tanazi and Joe Mattern, or they won second. And Luke Brown and Jake Long won third. And then, of course, Derek Begay and Evan Arnold and Caleb Driggers and Junior Nagara, they were the top two fastest times not already qualified, so they get to go to Chicago too. So that's going to be a million-dollar rodeo in the Windy City in January. So that'll be fun, and you can watch it on Ride Pass. So download the Ride Pass app. It's a cheap subscription. You can, If you have a smart TV, you can watch Ride Pass on your smart TV at home. So it's just like another channel. Um, it's awesome. just like adding a couple dollars a month essentially to your 
uh, cable bill is what it kind of equates to. So then you can watch it on your phone, you can watch it on your computer, you can watch it on your smart TV. So don't forget to do that. I know Kendra Santos was there on the ground. She was there at the WCRA, our senior editor. So I'm sure she'll be reporting this week in a little bit more in-depth. But that's what we've got for you. Caitlin, you're kind of like the Jay and Silent Bob. I know. My voice just keeps cracking. <laughs> So it's just, not attractive right now. So Sorry, guys. So you're just going to stay silent. It's fine. Yeah. Nobody, nobody. I'm enjoying this, though. Enjoying like, I'm just here in spirit. You're just listening to me yeah. report on all of this. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. That's why I'm here. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, everybody. I want to wish you all a really wonderful Thanksgiving. We are thankful for you all listening to the score and the short score this year. It has made such a difference. It has been such a new, fun outlet to talk about team roping. So... Thank you all. Enjoy it.